What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening to my dumb ass, and like and subscribe. So, the events of the aftermath of the Xbox Game Show continue. And it's crazy what these donkey unicorns and ponies. King Thrash is looking dumber and dumber every day. Look, I look, I don't he went on a show, I don't know who show, but Doc Dark one and eight nine nine eight not one nine eight five views there. And uh did I say Doc Dark? Doc Doc Anyway, um and uh it was it was it was bad. And he was like, No, don't say that, don't say that. They gonna clip this, they gonna clip and guess what? You know what happened? They clipped it. <laughs> he knows, he knows. Now I heard somebody, um who was it? Oh, it was Alex that was going in on uh the Porter Porter Rock and, and Doc. They're brothers, by the way, if y'all didn't know. Uh, Porter Rock is the older brother. Doc is younger, obviously. And um I mean, you know, what what Alex was saying was okay, maybe, sure. It might be a family business or something, but at least Doc is a little more open minded when it comes to I mean he's an Xbox or he's on the Xbox side. Or more so PC. Whatever. But Puerto Rock is just he's just a pony. He's a pony hiding in disguise. He's he's coming to terms with the reality. Uh which some of the pony community is the ones that have a couple of brain cells scrambling around up there, but some of them don't. They don't have no brains. And so, like King Thrash, it's, I mean, this what happened? What happened with the, the Xbox Showcase and the subsequent media kind of uh, reaction, all the positivity and all that stuff, is a good indication is a, and is a good litmus test for for gauging the stupidity of some of these ponies. Some of these ponies are idiots, okay? I mean, literal idiots. Maybe it's a denial thing. I don't even know what it is, but they're trying to convince themselves that this is that, and it's like King Thrash, he's, he's definitely a dumb person uh, because he made himself look dumb live on TV, and now it's captured. I mean, look. He's, he's done it before, but now he had someone to kind of keep it going. Does that make sense? To emphasize his, not to emphasize, but to point out and say, I'm trying to save you, bro. <laughs> he kept going. And th- what they were talking about was the Horizon uh, Lego, Lego Horizon Adventures, whatever it's called. And King Thrash was trying to say that. <laughs> he's trying to say that it's a Lego game. And it's 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 not Sony's call or, you know, I mean, something to that effect. Like, that's what a lot of ponies are trying to say, trying to trying to twist the narrative and say, oh, it's not Sony. It's Lego. It's a Lego game. It's not a Sony game or whatever. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, y'all idiots. And and Doc kind of broke it down. He said, let me bring it down to you elementary style. I think he said sixth grade or third grade. I can't remember what grade it was. <laughs> but he said, let's do the title. Lego is the adjective. Horizon is the noun. <laughs> Lego describes what kind of game it is. And I was like, I mean, I never thought of it that way, but yeah, he's right. Um, but anyway, the bottom line is that this is a collaboration with Lego, you know, the the owner of that IP, Horizon Gorilla, Sony, the owner of that IP, and I think that's it because the irrelevant part is that other studio who helped create the game, obviously. And that's just basically a work for hire. You know, maybe it's, you know, it's they're used to doing Lego games. And so Sony and Lego said, yo, boom, let's have them do it. You know, if if Gorilla was proficient in Lego games, they would probably do it. You know, I mean, it's just a job, you know, so you get the best people to work to do it. But. Who's paying for it? Who is putting, who's given the okay for these decisions? This decision, that decision, the script, all these things. It's not whatever the studio's name is. Like I said, they work for hire. 
it's Lego, and it's Sony. Collaboration. Anyway, it's it's still amazing that this generation has turned out and is turning out the way it is. This is the pinnacle point. And the, the tides are, have already ch- started changing. So remember, like, go back in some of my videos. I've always said, this generation is crazy. This is going to be Sony's downfall is coming. Blah, blah, blah. And this is before Jim Ryan left. I, was, I saw Jim Ryan. I saw what they were doing. I was like, no, this, is, this, can't, this can't be sustainable. I mean, first of all, their business couldn't be sustainable and their behavior couldn't be sustainable. And now they have gone too far. You know, you see these ponies and when you when the ponies and the donkey unicorns are, are over here saying, no, this no, you know, disagreeing. You look at Jeff Keighley's poll, you know, 80 something percent gave the Xbox a, a oh, I think it was 96 percent in total A and B. And then, you know, the other the summer showcase in the state of play got D's. You know, you look at that and that's not like a bunch of Xbox voting it was uh, 166,000 votes right so it can't be all xbox fans right so it's uh, you know and his 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 community his like audience is more casual plus there's xbox fans and there's playstation fans and there's probably some nintendo fans in there too so you know that's a good indication i know i kind of went over this stuff before but another thing happened And I don't remember what it was. So I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> but you look at this generation. You look at the, the games, right, that, that Xbox has. You look at what Sony doesn't have, which is a lot. And, I mean, I don't know about you or you or you or you. But I would have never in a million billion years thought that Sony would be in this particular position right now. And... Porter Rock over there saying, you might as well just go third party, Sony. Like, really? He got nothing to say? He got no, no way to twist this around. No way. And and the thing is, right, with Porter Rock posting that, right, and with all these other M- MBG being upset and all that stuff, with all these things happening, the tide's turning, A. Eh? And these guys are just the, I'm, I'm not going to say tip of the fear, but they're the, the vocal minority as far as fans go. And a lot of fans, a lot of people who bought PlayStation 5s are casuals, right? And so the casuals watched the Call of Duty sections, at least. They watched the whole thing, I would say. But Microsoft was smart. They put Call of Duty in the beginning. Then they put a whole bunch of good stuff in the middle. Like, oh, why do you think there was so many? Why do you think that the 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 poll was so highly voted? Because these casuals watched the show, and then at the end, watched some more. And Call of Duty has the highest views on their video ever, ever in the history of Call of Duty, which means that the zeitgeist or the hype for Call of Duty is higher than it's ever been in the history of Call of Duty. And Call of Duty has been a monster for over 20 years. About 20 years. Say 20 years. So, it's, 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 it's amazing how this generation started off how it did and then flips blips bloops and you're looking at it now and like huh how did this happen there has to be there has to be a book written about this generation because from the abk deal the court cases jim ryan saying this and that and third blah 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 you know then he quits you know and now sean Layden's talking shit well he's not talking shit but he's liking who do you he liked um tim i think it was tim dog's tweet or whatever and Tim Dog's over there cursing and stuff, and he liked it. And the, and the, here's the here's the hilarious part about what Sean Layden did. He liked the tweets, those fanboy tweets, just before Twitter went private on the like system. <sighs> did he do that on purpose? Who knows? 
But the fact that he did that before, uh, well, that's just the kind of painting a picture of him being a fanboy, a pony, a corporate pony, a CEO. A CEO? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I mean, before I would I would have said, yeah, Sean Layden was kind of one of the cool ones. He was nice and whatever, blah, blah, blah. He, he was kind of thick on the top and stuff. But, you know, he was, as far as how he looked, but, you know, he tried to squeeze into the T-shirts to be like, oh, just be like, oh, tight stuff. But, uh, yeah, now, now he's just a pony for the most part. I mean, maybe I'm just taking it a, a little bit overboard with that. Maybe he was just trying to be nice to... Tim Dog because he got his feelings hurt or whatever. Who knows? Uh, I was listening to Sean and uh, Dirt today. I caught them. I, I caught them live. I think they were live. Yeah, and um, they were going in on on Tim <laughs> on Tim Puppy. I like to call him Tim Puppy. And they were like, "Yo, I mean, I don't curse. I try not to curse. I I'll say shite instead of the actual you know English version and." Fonguli or flower or whatever, you know, I try to have replacement words only because uh, I, I believe that curses are important. They're part of the English language, but they're also ineffective if they use them, if you use them too much. You know, they become less effective. So I try not to use them unless I really need to. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I mean, Sean always goes in, but dirt was going in. And he was like, I don't care. I don't care. You flip. You're a pony and you flip. Man, get out of here. Get the F out of here with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and Sean, you know, you know, Sean's like, look at this. <laughs> Man, this show is so good. I can sit there and listen to them fools all day. Fools in a good way. But they were, they, one thing I wanted to talk about, and it's, it's something they touched on, and I believe I touched on this before, but I want to uh, reiterate. And they're referring to Dreamcast guy. And Dreamcast guy was kind of uh, shouted out, basically for being fake. Um, what's his Paris shouted him out? Ooh, no way. Shouted him out because he's fake. He doesn't talk the same as he talks on his videos. Blah blah blah. Right. And so I was like, all right. And uh, I'm like, I mean, you could kind of tell like how he's. Hello, this is Dreamcast guy, and. I just wanna. I'm like, what? Who talks like that? Nobody talks like that. What the hell's wrong with this guy? Anyway, um, yeah, and they went on to basically say, look, me and Sean, we like this. After the show, we keep talking. We be talking. We were just talking before the show. We did. How you hear us on the show is how we talk and real. You know, off the show, blah blah blah. We real. We just we're ourselves. I'm like, that's why I listen to them. That's why I rock with them. And you look at it, listen to King David. I mean, he puts on a little bit of stuff because he'd be rhyming a lot. <laughs> he'd be putting out in the poetry. He got bars, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like like Sean and, and Dirt mentioned, he says he believes the Iron Lords are true, too. And I, I, I listen to them. I'm like, yeah, they're from New York. Of course they are. Yeah. New York dudes usually aren't, usually don't have time to play. You know what I mean? And so I was thinking about that. And now it's kind of like going through like all the, all the personalities, all of the uh, influencers, and you know, of course, Dreamcast guy, whatever. Um, I'm gonna say, crap gamer, but he's good at, at talking shite. But he's still a character. He's still fake because he flipped. Like if you if you're gonna flip, right, then something is wrong with you, a, and. You have no, like, there's no conviction in your decisions or, or your, I'm like, unless, you know, Microsoft went and slapped your mama, I don't know what to tell you. It's like, this is video games. Why are you upset? Right? I keep going back to that. Why are you crying? Why are you upset? You know, if Microsoft put all their games on PlayStation, I don't care. As long as I get to play them on Xbox, it doesn't matter. If they could make more money to guarantee that they keep making more games, okay, let's go. You know, I don't want another Sega to happen. I don't want well, Kalika was a whole other. Thing. You know, there there are certain companies that went out of business in the video game industry because their business was not sound. Their business uh, models sucked. You know, and Sony's facing that right now. But what they're doing, what Sony's doing, which is necessary, 
Not smart. Oh, this is a smart move. This is good business. No, 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 no. They're doing it because they have to. Because if they don't, they're going to be the next Atari over there. They're going to be the next ColecoVision over there. They're going to be the next Sega hardware over there. Doing third, being really third party. And uh, you know what? They probably looked at Sega and said, well, how much money is Sega making? You know? And like, how much money are we really making off of consoles as opposed to games? And if we just make games, stop wasting money on consoles, R&D manufacturing and a little ass, you know, um, return on investment on that. And they look at just games. Sega did the same thing. They said, forget the car- hardware. We're just doing games. And they were third party. You don't think Sony could do the same thing? I mean, they both start with S. They're both Japanese companies. Just saying. Might be serendipity. You never know. You know, so you have that. And it's like, there has to have been a discussion, even though you're like, oh, well, Sony, they make hardware. Okay. They make hardware. But I don't know if they're the king of hardware. I don't think the PlayStation 5 is all that impressive. I mean, Mark Cerny did some little tweaks to it and stuff and really pushed it to the edge so he gets props for that but as far as an overall hardware piece of hardware hardware it's lacking in many ways and uh you know it's it's the rumor of the places fire pro is still out there they're not saying anything their, their silence is deafening And what's happening now is that the echo chamber on the PlayStation side is becoming negative and doubtful. And, you know, fear is in the air with these ponies. That's why it's been raining. It stopped today. I guess they needed a break, a reprieve. Maybe they need to take a nap or something. So they're probably crying right now. They can't cry in their sleep. I mean, I think they can, but I don't think they're crying in their sleep. (laughs) But it's, it's like... You know, King Thrash, why are you so dumb? Why are you arguing? You know, it's like, wow. And when you see MBG and when you see Porter Rock and you see all these ponies giving up, they're waving a white flag, basically. Then it is over, basically. It's it's over for PlayStation. PlayStation, you know, a month ago, what were they saying? PlayStation won the console war. Microsoft, you know, admitted that they didn't win the console war. Here's the problem with that. Sony won the console war, but there really is no console war anymore. They won something that became extinct. It doesn't matter. They can sell a million billion units, but then you look at the paperwork, you look at their profit, and it doesn't reflect their sales. And so they keep saying, oh, they're the market leader. They sold the most consoles. I'm like, but that's not equating to the most profit overall. It should, but it's not. So either their numbers are off or they're not selling the right amount of units of games per console sold. The attach rate. So they don't even mention that. How many did they ever give the number of uh, sales for the Final Fantasy Rebirth? Was that what it was called? Rebirth? I don't think so. What about Stella Blade? Did they give numbers for Stella Blade? Stella Blade even on the list anymore? It's not. And here's another thing. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. A, an Xbox first party game where the ponies were celebrating, oh, Xbox is third party, oh, Xbox games on PlayStation, oh, PlayStation, why do I need to buy an Xbox, blah, blah, blah. You don't, just buy the game, which apparently is what's happening because Sea of Thieves was the number one game, I guess downloaded, but it's for sale. It's not on any service over on PlayStation, so it's sold. On, I guess, in terms of units. On PlayStation, in the US, and the UK. Come on, son. Come on, son. That, I think what Microsoft is doing, right? And they're illustrating, like, this, like, just take Sea of Thieves for a second, right? You're like, okay, Sea of Thieves, it's it's number one. Selling better than all PlayStation, everything else. 
it's a Microsoft first party game selling the best on play. They're taking over PlayStation from the inside, basically. Put the games on the PlayStation store, they're selling the most. Microsoft, what did they get? 70%. What is what does Sony get? 30%. Does that help Sony more or Xbox more? That's the question. It helps Sony because that's money they wouldn't have had uh, otherwise. So that's, I guess, Xbox's charity. Like, okay, here's your 30%. There you go. Go um, do something. I don't know what y'all doing, but do something. And I was like, yo, if this keeps happening. Well, Call of Duty is going to be a whole other thing. I mean, with the 53, I haven't even checked the latest number of the YouTube video. But 53 million views so far. And that was like a day or two ago. So it was probably 60 or whatever now. And I'm like, that game's going to sell probably the best. It's probably going to be the best selling Call of Duty in a long, 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 long time. And so I'm like, wow. Microsoft is literally infiltrating PlayStation from the inside, taking their money, taking the ponies and the donkey unicorns money. But of course, they're not the donkey unicorns and the ponies. They're the casuals that bought the PlayStation in the first place, which, of course, supports the theory that the hardcore players, not really on PlayStation. They're on PC, obviously. It's mostly casuals. And that's what's happening. And so casual CC of Thieves like, oh, pirate, open world, let's go. They're not going to say, oh, it's an Xbox game, so I'm not going to buy that because I'm a pony. No, they don't care. And so... Sony's whole thing is like, oh, well, we're putting our games on the Switch so that it's going to get people to want to buy a PlayStation. And Porter Rock said, no, that's not how it happens. <laughs> doesn't happen that way on PC. It's not going to happen that way on Switch. But the thing is, with Call of Duty and with any game that is on everything, including Game Pass Day 1, the best deal is always Game Pass. Even, like, if you're subscribed to Game Pass... Right? The best deal is always on Game Pass. Let me explain. If you buy it on PlayStation, 70 bucks, that's what it is. If you have Game Pass, it's in Game Pass, you don't have to buy it. If you want to buy it anyway and you buy it on Xbox, you get a Game Pass discount. Yeah. That's why it's like if I want to buy a game, I'll buy it through, you know, I'll buy it digitally and i'll get the discount unless i want the physical copy that's a whole different story but yeah it's like either way you put either way you cut it if you're gonna buy it i mean and that's assuming that you're a game pass subscriber but if you're not a game pass subscriber then and you want to be a pony then sure spend 70 bucks but a lot of people are gonna be like yo game pass like i said anecdotally people are like yo when, is that coming to game pass the game pass everybody's asking all the casuals are asking the casuals saw the show they get 53 million and, and growing. Come on, son. it's it's a it's a foregone conclusion that this is going to be the best selling Call of Duty, and Game Pass numbers are going to go up, and people that Call of Duty is going to make some money. Xbox is going to make some money. Sony, PlayStation, they'll make a little bit of money too. How many people move away from PlayStation to Xbox Game Pass or PC Game Pass? Who knows? You know that's going to be an interesting number, but you know we'll have to see how that shakes out oh man this this generation is something else it really really is and you know i could have went in and i I mean at this point i can kind of talk about how the ponies are kind of coping with the new their new reality um but i will probably start talking about the games that are coming out you know i mean i didn't really go in on each individual game on the showcase, I did talk about. Um, did I talk about Perfect Dark? I believe I talked about Perfect Dark. And what else did I talk? I think I talked about Fable. I don't remember actually. Or South of Midnight. I mean, I talked about all of them generally speaking, but I think I talked. What was the last one? I don't remember. Wow. But uh, I do want to talk about Starfield, but I'm not going to talk about that today. Maybe on the next video, I'll talk about Starfield because they just dropped their. <clears throat> excuse me the creation kit basically and so on xbox so on xbox we're getting mods and let me tell you if you have starfield xbox on xbox and you haven't played it for a minute go 
update it because now they got the 60 frames. I played it. I was like, yo, that's smooth. I mean, it's always been smooth, but it was like quick, quickity, quickity smooth. And then check out the mods. I'm like, oh, hell no. They got so many. They got so many Star Wars. Mods. They got a Batman mod. I was like, I'm about to go build me a Batman suit <laughs> and run around Starfield like Batman and with Star Wars character. Man, I'm like, this is why Starfield is going to be so great in a long, long game because I saw I saw what they just dropped and what the community has given us already, and I'm like, I can't. This is going to be ridiculous. So I'll talk about that in the next video, but um, I appreciate y'all hanging out, showing me my abs. I can subscribe. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, let me know how you feel about how these ponies are dealing with the counts, with the the flip of the industry over towards Xbox now. I mean, you know, it's it's only a matter of time when the numbers come out and Xbox is going to sell more consoles and Game Pass is going to have more subs and stuff like that. But it's going to happen. So, you know, you know, people like Game uh, Reforged Gaming and Porter Rock and j j dub well j dub's just a character he's he, he plays everything but and he he knows he's trolling but these some of these other guys are just uh, but anyway let me know in the comments below and uh let me know also uh, if you have uh, played gone gone back into starfield real quick don't don't uh, go too deep in it because like i said i'm gonna on the next video i'm gonna, I'm gonna go more deeper into it we'll play a little bit more tonight and we're gonna see but once again i preach and i'll catch you on the next one Take the lead. Thank you.